Hey folks, Jonathan here. We're back on this 59 Ford truck. Uh, some of you may not have seen the other video where we uh, actually went and bought this and picked it up. Uh, this truck, I actually was able to take the registration and get a hold of the, the old owner of this truck. And I did find out for sure that this thing has been sitting since right around, well, before May of 82. And uh, so that's just a little under 35 years since it's been around. And uh, we found us a carburetor. And this carburetor is actually off of a uh, AMC with a 360. Just got her sitting on there. Got to get it bolted down. Still got to get the points cleaned. Got to come up with a solenoid and a couple of battery cables. I've set the old battery in there. And of course I got my old tank that I use to uh, to run these things. And uh, we may, if we can get it starting idle, we may jump in and just put it in gear and see if it see if it'll pull. You know, with that old automatic, the fluid looks good in it. Oil looks good in it. Uh, you can see here where they took the the negative battery cable off. Get a little closer where you can see, but they had taken the negative battery cable off, and that's been kind of recent. Uh, but we'll get a cable back on it, and you can see what kind of shape the uh, the positives in. It's rough as can be, so we got to make sure it's not going to be touching anything. And of course, like I said, solenoid's missing. We'll have to throw one on it, and. Uh, I wanted to show you, I don't know if you'll be able to see this real well, but uh, and maybe it'll focus here. You can see the pulley just about rusted. Well, it's rusted to the belt, and I got a feeling that belt may break. Now, I've turned the engine part of the way, but I didn't turn it all the way, and uh, I'm hoping it don't turn so far and then stop. I can hear that starter engaging back there or that it is engaged so we uh we may just tap it with the starter and see what happens but you know our belt may break here but like i said 35 years i mean you're going to expect stuff like that uh radiator hose just snapped right off but it's actually really clean i can actually see the shiny thermostat down in it and i mean it's i'm amazed with that and uh this engine was rebuilt and uh you know, he couldn't really tell me how many miles was put on it since, the, you know, after it was rebuilt, but, you know, somewhere 10, 20,000 miles. So it's not a bunch, but I uh, had a few people comment about the pipe on the front and all the Y blocks, as far as I know, had that pipe. This exhaust manifold over here does not dump down. And you see there's an oil filter and the steering gear box in the way. So I guess their quick answer for that was to just run the pipe out the front and over and over and uh back into the front of the other one and then this pipe has actually got a a dump on it and i did notice looking down this pipe's in really good shape but our down pipes got a big hole in it so we'll work with that but i'm gonna go ahead and try to get everything together here i'll show maybe show you the points when i get them pulled out and get the carburetor mounted down and uh get some fuel to it and like I said, I got to get battery cables hooked up on it, and a, maybe a solenoid, and and uh, I can do it without a solenoid. But uh, you know, you don't want to throw a lot of sparks around a battery, and you know, a vented battery, you'll you'll blow it up if you're not careful. And you know, when you get sparks above it, anyway, we're going to see how it works out, and, and uh, we'll go from there. All right. No worries now, we got help on the way. You coming? Uh oh. Does that mean you're mad if you throw your hat? All right, folks, first time in a lot of years, uh, right at almost 35 years, I'm gonna see if it'll turn over. And hopefully, that belt won't go to flying to pieces. don't sound the worst in the world uh, I don't have the rotor button or the stripper cap on I haven't cleaned the points yet uh, you can tell that it's got more compression on some cylinders than others but if we get you know a couple of cylinders with compression we can get it started up and maybe it'll pick up and go but uh, I hadn't bolted the carburetor down yet I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we'll get the points out uh, 
so far so good all right folks here's our points uh see if we can get them to zoom in here Ooh, i'm blocking my own light uh, i don't think it's gonna zoom it might but anyway a lot of white crusty stuff in them uh around them but i think we can uh get them cleaned up get them back in get her fire okay i'm beginning to wonder if we're going to get this one started i turned the starter over a little bit just when i was trying to get the points you know up on the open lobe so, so i could adjust them and this engine it's not turning over right something's not jiving too much i put some oil sprayed some stuff down the uh, carburetor and or down the the holes on the intake and then i put the carburetor on i've got the gas hooked up i'm not going to use my squirt bottle because this carburetor the accelerator pump seems to be working everything so i think we're fine there uh, i'm going to go ahead and put some power to it and see if i can get it to roll over i'm having some issues on on the starter and uh getting the solenoid to kick in and get the starter to turn it but uh we're going to play with it here a little bit just see what happens Either the engine's tight as hell or it's dragging real bad. Starter. Uh, we'll put start the truck back up. Uh, comes to it, I'll cheat there just a little bit and throw some 24 volt to it. I mean, if the starter's gone, it's gone. It looks like we're getting plenty of fuel. I see it coming out around the bottom. I'm hoping the float's not stuck in that. Let's see what happens. I think I found what our major problem was. This wire I used actually had a lead end on it. And it melted off, got hot. So we're gonna actually, uh, we're gonna change that out. Good and heavy cable, but the lead got hot. So we'll see what we can do. All right, we're back to the bottle. I don't think I'm getting enough gas in it. I'm gonna try it once real quick and see what happens. or twice there not very good but uh, this might be the first one that I have to change the plugs and stuff in I guess uh, thing ain't wanting to uh, 
cooperate here and I'm afraid I don't have enough starter to you know mess with it forever so we'll turn the camera off here and let it charge a little bit and uh, we'll see what happens to it. it gets a little better if that starter starts to smoke a little bit give trouble I might just do the kamikaze thing and 24 volt it get it to spin fast and maybe it'll get fired up but uh, we'll see what happens well the good thing about it is once we got that lead off the end of that uh, battery terminal the cable because I think it kept loosening up to what was giving me the problem and uh, of course I, I put a little oil and it was actually marble mystery oil that I got in a spray bottle I sprayed a little bit down the intake and that's probably not going to help the spark plugs but we're going to uh, we're going to keep at it just a little bit longer it comes to it we'll pull the plugs and clean them put them back in uh, I'm not going to buy any plugs because it has to do, nothing to do with the money it has to do with the you know the the way that I want to do it uh, I mean you can throw money at anything and make it do anything you want it to do uh, that defeats my purpose so you know as of right now you know I've, I've got a couple dollars in gas and uh, you know what I paid for the truck and I haven't spent any money and I don't I don't plan to you know I don't want to be like throwing money in the dark you know if you're throwing money into something that you don't know whether you're gonna fix or whether it's even worth fixing or not so, uh, you know we may end up not uh, parting this out because of the title situation I think I'm gonna be able to get the title after talking to the guy about it so we'll see how it works out All right, I figured we'd use a little more power, so I've got my rollback, one of my rollbacks hooked up to it, and I've still got my old rat rod hooked up to it. So, uh, a little noisy, I know, but sort of don't have much of a choice. So, I've been cranking it over from the inside, so we'll see what it's going to do. Here in a minute, I get somebody I can get to turn it over for me while I uh, while I try to get the carburetor get some fuel in it. I think we need more cowbell. Right? Yeah. 
been a long time, but I ain't done anything with the blood or anything. I cleaned the points in it. All right, we're going to start it up one more time without the other stuff running in the background so you can hear how she runs. I haven't got any smoke out of it, so I think it's going to be okay. Looks like we're starting to get a little bit of gas out of the fuel line coming from the fuel pump, too, which is probably not a good thing, but it smells dead as can be. All right, give her a try. Go ahead. folks i'm not gonna lie to you it took a while to get it to start but uh once it started hitting it started quicker than the other ones and it's running on all eight cylinders so there's no problem there and i no smoke i mean even though i did put a little bit of marble mystery oil down the carburetor down the intake uh don't see a thing wrong with it and i think what we'll do on this one is slow on fluid so we'll get some transmission fluid and we'll throw a set of wheels and tires on it and uh see if she'll move and might be worth doing the brakes on getting the title and stuff for be a good rat rub somebody or just an old driver like i drive my you know my old international but uh you know we'll uh we'll do something with it appreciate everybody watching bye